So Frederick Nietzsche once said, those who danced were considered insane by those who did not hear the music. Having ADHD in this society crushes your self-confidence. I spent my entire school life judging my shortcomings against neurotypical people. I wasn't the hyper kid and I wasn't the naughty kid. And when I first heard the term ADHD used about me, I was really confused because that was all I had ever learned about ADHD. Getting my diagnosis five years ago when I was 18 was the most freeing and liberating thing ever. I finally understood why I am the way I am and that the way I am is brilliant. I'm scatty, my brain races, I get anxious a lot of the time. I used to be really disorganized and now I'm hyper organized because it comes with my anxiety. It takes me a bit longer to do the process of hearing something and then understanding what someone said and then replying. I have a deficit in my attention span, unless I'm hooked on what I'm doing and then I am more focused than you can possibly believe. Art is the way that I channel the inner impulsivity and my brain racing. When I look at some of my friends who are clearly to me undiagnosed ADHD, it makes me really sad because they would be so much freer than they are if they had a diagnosis. Instead, they beat themselves up for not being able to achieve certain things they self-medicate, and the hardest thing is that they don't even under understand what ADHD actually is, or what the actual traits are, because it's never actually been explained to them. We have such a long way to go to catch up. I fear for the parents who live with daily judgment, who feel they're continually failing to live up to the impossible standard of creating cookie-cutter children. I fear for the lost generation of men and women sitting in prisons or dealing with mental health issues or just not following their dreams because no one ever noticed that their brains were just wired differently. No one ever took the time to nurture those people's specific, wondrous gifts. If they had been given the understanding, if they had been encouraged in school, would it have made a difference? I think that it would. I fear for the next generation going through school right now. Will it be different for them? We need to make sure that it is. And it starts here where decisions are made and policies are shaped. It's okay that our brains work differently. It's actually brilliant that our brains work differently. Diversity of thinking is what shapes society. We need the ones who see the world differently to make the world different, to make the world the best it can be.